Hi everyone, I uh, hope you're okay. It's Saturday, 29th of January. Um, our house anniversary, whatever, um, completed on the house a year ago today. That's pretty cool. Um, it's half past one in the afternoon. Uh, this morning I went to Aldi uh, and then to my friends in Castle Donington to drop her birthday presents off. So I said to her, I'm going to the shop, do you need anything? Um, in case you can't get out, you know, because of her daughter. Um, so I picked up uh, some glue roll for her. That's what I was going for for me. I was like, I need glue roll. She was like, oh yeah. She was like, I forgot to buy some. Could you get me some? So I did. Uh, and then I went up there, stood outside, you know, stood in her garden with a mask on, me and Jack, uh, and gave her her birthday presents. Uh, had a little chat. And then I came home and Paul was waiting for me because he wanted to do a tip run, or a few tip runs. So we have, um, we're tackling the loft because at some point he wants to board it out. Um, and we've just got so much rubbish. Um, I think you do, don't you? you just accumulate from house to house to house. Um, but we threw away like a baby swing chair thing. Uh, the baby bottle steriliser um, and Jack is 10 in a few months time so um, yeah we, we perhaps don't need it anymore um, what else oh a stereo like uh, it was I think a three disc uh, three CD player had two tapes on the front and then it was a radio as well uh, but that was mine. God, I bought it when I, since I've been with Paul. I think I bought it. So it's probably we've been together nineteen years this year. So it's probably about seventeen or eighteen years old. This stereo um, and the speakers are like massive, great big things. So they've gone, and the the big chunky unit itself that's gone. Um, and our PlayStation, the very first Wii, no, the Wii. Yeah, the Wii and I think the Wii U has gone. Uh, my old steam generator iron. Uh, what else? Oh, a big uh, Xbox steering wheel that we got from one of Paul's friends because they never used it and then we never used it. I think Toby maybe used it once and it's just a huge thing, great big box. So that's gone as well. Uh, Thrown, I don't know how many pillows and duvets away because it was like, um, Dunelm up in our loft. Dunelm is a what is that? Um, Dunelm's like a bedding, soft furnishing sort of company uh, shop over here. I can hear the kids shouting at each other. I hope you can't. Um, no, correction, I can hear Jack shouting at Tobin. That's usually the way it goes. Um, so, yeah, we've got, excuse me, a rid of a load of pillows and a couple of duvets. Cause Tobin had a new duvet the other week. Um, it gone all like at the top of it it all started breaking down inside sort of so it was you know in clumps so it wasn't great for him because we only sort of buy them the fairly standard hollow fiber duvets or whatever they're not not sort of duck and uh, goose and duck down or anything like that i think it'd be too warm if we did that anyway so yes we cleared a load of stuff we're gonna do some more. I don't know what else is to come. Bags and stuff. I think I've got to go up and have a look. I was Paul's like, oh, <laughs> I just heard him say, are we keeping all these jigsaws? I was like, yes, don't throw any jigsaws away. Because we've thrown jigsaws away before. And now I'm really angry about it. Because <laughs> I like jigsaws. But it's not something I do all the time. So I have to, you know, fancy doing a jigsaw. And then I'm like, ooh, let's go get a jigsaw. Out the loft or whatever. But. I was like, you should, you know, get rid of them if you're not going to do them. I'm like, I might do them again. Yeah, leave me alone. Uh, we did find the um, stand for the dumbbell weights that I've got because the weights I use um, occasionally when I work out here are Paul's old weights from when he was probably a teenager, when he was going to be all buff. <laughs> um, and I'd just had them loose, they're now out in the wool shed. Um, but we found the stand for it, so at least I can put them on, on the rack thing out there. So yes, we're going to go up, he's just doing the pots, because we came home and had some lunch in between. Um, 
so we've had some lunch he's doing the parts and then we'll go back up and sort some more stuff so it feels like i've been productive at least gone to my friend bought toilet roll because that's obviously very exciting um i've done i've done I've done a little bit of crochet this morning. Uh, I finished the other horn last night. Well, two horns, two ears. Uh, I'll show you properly. They'll be pinched like that. They'll be really cute. I'd show you them uh, against the head, but I, I unpinned the head from the body and then the head was full of pins and Roxy was knocking around. So I put the head in a cupboard in the kitchen so she can't get to it. I thought I'll put it up out of the way and then like all the units and fireplace and stuff she can reach. So I thought I'm just put it in the cupboard. So if I can't find it later, I have to watch this back and remind myself it's in the cupboard with the uh, kitchen towel. <laughs> um, so I started working on the skirt. I think I've got to do another round of half double crochet and there might be some more increases. Um, but yes, so that's where I am. Uh, I don't think how I might take some car crochet for the way back. It's a bit of a trek to the tip. Um, so yeah, I might. Uh, my sister's just said I'm turning into dad because I've done a tip run and I'm going to do another one. <laughs> Treating ourselves. Two tip runs in a day. Um, yeah. So I might take my blanket with me. I've just finished round. Let me have fill a in the bag up now. I think I have a plan for that um, turquoise yarn that my friend uh, gave me when she cleared him, uh, or when she found it in the mother-in-law's house. Um, I think it's going to be a big, well, it's going to be a big blanket. But I think it's going to be for my friend Tina. Uh, let me have a look. Where did I? I'm on round forty-five, which is four hundred and eighty half double crochets. So it's like. Eight double, uh, eight half double crochets increased a lot, but I'm on the last ball of yarn now, so we're on the. I can't, for the life of me, remember how far I got into it when I did the last one. When I did the blue one for my mother-in-law, I can't think how far, what round I actually got to. Maybe I'll have to look back at my video. I need to look back at my videos to find. Let me go grab it. One second. Just inform the boys, all I can hear is them shouting. They're still shouting. So, I need to find what pattern this is. <laughs> That's the bottom edge. So, let's have a look at it the right way. That's the front, if it, it doesn't really matter. I have a feeling it's like, what is it? It's like, it's not the sober granny, it's not the drunken granny. But what is it? I have a feeling it's it's not the not the dandelion dreams pattern, I don't think. I have a feeling it's like one of Crystal Bag of Days patterns. Can't for the life of me think what it is. So I'm gonna have to go through my videos or my blog and find the post on it to find the blooming pattern. Because I have no I'm like Gandalf, I have no memory of this place. Can I remember what it is? But I really like it and I think a big like nicely textured blanket even though it'll all be in one colour I think it'd be really nice I could edge it in the grey as well because I've got grey chunky to go with the turquoise maybe but I love this blanket, it's Roxy well, it was the blanket that was going in the carrier, the cat carrier with the pickle and morty to start with no. and now it's out all the time we get it in the carrier when we fetch Roxy and now we have this as well as the pickle poncho for them to lay on. You're going to stop shouting now. Walking around with his headphones on, they're not even plugged into anything. Hello, I'm back. Sorry about that. Um, people came in and stuff, so I just stopped the video mid waffle earlier on. Um, it's later on, it's 10 to 8 uh, in the evening now. I'm dual lit, but probably not very well. Uh, or too much, too much, too much. Um, but I've just dyed my hair and got out of the shower, so my greys are gone. I've got to go and dry my hair in a minute, but I thought if I don't film this video and get it on the computer and then upload today's video, yesterday's, today's video, uh, I was going to like lose track of time. <sighs> so today was busy after I spoke to you earlier. Uh, we went 
well, back up in the loft and got more rubbish down. We found Tobin's like baby rocking chair and even more bedding. Some of the cloth nappies I used when they were both in nappies. Um, what else? Loads more toys. Um, a DVD player. There's something else. And a, <laughs> a, a video player, VHS player. And it blew Jack's mind. He was like, oh my gosh. Paul found a box of tapes as well, my old cassette tapes. He was like, do you want to keep them? I said, well, we've just got rid of my stereo, which was the only thing I could play them on. But he was like, oh, you might want to have a look. And they're all like, they're either tapes that my friends had recorded, you know, albums for me, or mixtapes I'd made, or the charts from a certain week when they used to be on. Are they still on every Sunday? I don't know, but you don't tape them, do you? Um, yeah, so I, I didn't end up getting rid of them. Um, I've got a, a cassette single of um, Spaceman by Babylon Zoo <laughs> and Levelers, uh, the Levelers, just the one. <laughs> Brilliant. I'm sure I had some more. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry, mini coughing fit. Um, yeah, I'm sure somewhere I've got more albums, unless they were just buried in the bottom. But I definitely remember having Below the Great Escape on cassette and I had the greatest hits of 93 somewhere. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, yes, so it, it was, um, I didn't look through anything else. Uh, box wise up there we're just generally clearing out stuff we definitely don't need found a bag of clothes with like nine year old age nine jeans in um so they've been thrown down for jack to try on see if they fit um paul's like there's still loads of clothes up there i was like that's for another day there's definitely a bag marked year six uniform so that'll be for jack next year ish if he's about the same size as tobin so i was like just leave leave it up there um but Paul's been up and tidied it when we got home, he went up there. And I watched Encanto in full with the kids, both kids. We had to start from the start because Tobin couldn't remember. We put it on on his account on Disney+, Plus, which is what they'd watched on originally, but he couldn't remember what was going on. So he was only 20 minutes in, so we went right back to the start and watched it all again. And I really enjoyed it, really enjoyed it. So I'm glad I've watched it now. Okay, Paul shouting, I wonder what he was saying. Um, he told me. No, <laughs> I couldn't tell what he was saying. Um, you talk to me. Yes, so I enjoyed Encanto. It was very good. I'm happy I've watched it. I can watch it at my leisure now and listen to the songs and stuff. <laughs> cool. Um, I have a bit of a bit more of a skirt for um, Amelia the giraffe. I've done the two rows of half double crochet and then this last row was a half double crochet increase in every stitch around which is why we're all floaty so I've just got to read what the I think there's one more round maybe two maybe one more half double crochet round and then a single crochet round so I'm gonna go do that when I've dried my hair and put yesterday's video up for today and got this footage on the computer so I've got a few things to do first but I wanted to get my hair done. The shopping has come, Paul did tea so I've done the parts. I didn't get to, you know, I didn't go silly and try to clean the oven like I did last week. No, no, no. Um, yeah, so I think that's it for Saturday. Um, lots of things accomplished. Hair, tip runs, went to see my friend. So yeah, a productive day. Good. Um, I don't know what we're going to do tomorrow. We've got to go to the shop to pick up bits that I either... Yeah, they didn't give us normal baby bell. They sent light cheese and Paul doesn't like it, so they went back. And the pitters didn't have a good date on them, so they went back. Uh, they swapped the pizzas out, which I didn't think we were going to keep, but Paul said we would. Um, they were deep pan pizzas. He doesn't normally like deep pan. Get a deep pan pizza. That's the the thinner ones. Uh, I'm, I'm sort of old school Pizza Hut deep pan. Oh, love it. And it's like it's too stodgy. I'm like yes for stodge. <laughs> I think that's what ninety percent of my body is made up of at the minute. Stodge. <laughs> um, 
but yes so i will leave it here and go dry my hair um it's looking all well it still just looks dark doesn't it but this is no great at least it is i think it's called bittersweet chocolate or something the color but then i've got to see if i can get in and get my hair cut next weekend you see we're going to see paul's dad next sunday because he's got a puppy <laughs> oh he's so cute what's his name barney i think yeah that rings a bell right i'm really going um i will catch up with you tomorrow i hope you're all doing okay and that you've had a nice weekend um what, what have i got to film two two more days yeah two more days and then i've done all 31. it doesn't actually feel too like it's been too bad obviously after switching to having my videos a day putting them up a day later that's helped a lot and he gets to play with my new camera so. I'm going to leave here because the kids are going to bed so I better go and dry my hair before they get in bed oh Jack's going to say no night hi what's this we need to get his hair cut yeah I literally it's like I a, bowl a bowl cut, cut. <laughs> you should show them a picture and oh, that one does put it in the me. video because look at like his here. face he's got chocolate milk all around his face he's like it all the time I get to school and he's got toothpaste around his face and breakfast and yep. all sorts bye Night. Right, I'm going. I'll see you later, guys. Bye.